Welcome back, friends, to Man Tactical. Now, some of you guys are going to be like, yay. Other guys are going to be like, oh, man, another Tomahawk. Yep. <laughs> Sorry about that. Fucking love Tomahawks, man. <laughs> I was never into them, like, as much as I... Back in the day, I was more into swords or long blades, big choppers, stuff like that. But then I started using some Tomahawks, and I just fell in love with these things. Because it is, like, the ultimate tool to me. So, it's a CRKT, Kanji T-Hawk. Had this for a little while. Nice sheath that comes with it, designed by RMJ for CRKT. Now, the sheath is kind of like their RMJ Eagle Talon. Quick release, you just pull, comes off. And the sheath is well done. Got some eyelet holes, some slits for different mounting positions. Uh, I think this one did come with the shoulder strap. I could be wrong. I think I got that at the house. I've had it for a while, so sorry. I kind of forgot. Button snap for the closure. So you just boom, yank it out. Comes out easily. Goes in easily. Front first, then the back. That's how I do it. And same thing as pulling it out front first. Comes out nicely. There you go. Close up. I'm Jay Kanji T-Hawk. Now this thing is pretty dangerous. The whole top is sharpened. So that's something different I don't have on any of my other Tomahawks. The spike looks well done. Nice and pointy. Looks pretty even, the bevel. And it's... This is, it's, this is lightly sharpened, I think. No, this is actually pretty... That's false. It's like super close to being sharp, though. I mean, if you did a tiny bit of work on that, that would be sharp. It actually might be a little. I mean, it's like just so close. Go over the technical specs on it. Overall length, 13 and 3 quarters inches long. The blade length is 3 inch. The weight of the Hawk is 1 pound, 8 ounce. Now, the scales, at first, before I bought it, I thought they were, like, just looking at a G10. But they're actually glass-filled nylon. So it ain't as grippy as G10. But it's not bad. It's got good texturing. It's got a couple different holes for different lashing options, lanyard options. Same thing with this down here. Pommel protrudes from the handle scales. Now, one thing I see that might be a problem before even using it, usually tomahawks aren't as bad as knives. But when the, the tang protrudes out the scales, sometimes that can create hot spots and stuff. But I haven't tested it yet, so I can't say for sure. So we'll test that and see if we get any of that. Retail is $185. Usually get it for just over $100. Bucks. I got this for $107. And the steel is SK5 high carbon steel. This is actually going to be the most expensive Tomahawk I've tested so far. I've never tested a $100 or more Tomahawk, so this will be cool. Try the initial sharpness on this thing. You know what? I'm going to try the top of it, too. I just want to see how sharp this is. Well, I can't believe I'm going to use a $100 something plus Tomahawk. <laughs> I haven't done this yet. Wow, that top is actually... Well, it's not that bad. It's actually... Wow. Yeah. It's sharp enough to do that. Now let's try the blade itself. Oh yeah, very nice. Oh, it's nice getting sharp tools out the box, isn't it? So you don't have to monkey with it. Not that I mind sharpening. I kind of like sharpening stuff, but it's nice to get something out the box sharp. Oh yeah, it's doing a, a really good job actually. So let me try, I don't know if I could try this. No, I was about to push on this. And try the beard mm, bad idea okay hold on no that doesn't really feel sharp at all like i said it's like really close to being sharp but it's not so yeah so at least it's sharp now we'll do the old 10 chop test now, in the beginning i'm not going to wear gloves just to see if this tang does hurt so let's do we'll just do 10 chops see what happens wow that bit in nicely whoa Shit, I lost count. I think the next one's 10. But regardless, I'm very surprised at how this was biting in. 
and I didn't really feel anything on my hand yet. So, so far so good. There's a close up for you. Yeah, I was pretty darn surprised how it was biting in there. Nice. Do a couple strikes with the grain, see how it penetrates. Now, like I said, this was designed by RMJ. So I'm sure this thing's gonna work pretty damn well. Whoa. Wow, look at, I don't know if you guys, yeah, you guys can see that. That's, I almost could pick up this freaking log. And this is actually, it's like 15 feet long or so. Wow. Yeah, and so far it's not hurting me either. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty fucking good. Time for some spike action. Yeah, my favorite. Holy crap. I don't know if you can see that. Here, let me get you out here. I know it's a dead log and stuff, but look at that it was actually like split it. Not buried, freaking like the whole spike. Let's continue with the destruction. Oh, look at that, yeah, picking this freaking log right up. Wow. Man, oh wow, I just noticed something too. When I'm going back like that, that whole sharpened portion is helping cut still. Man, this thing's a little badass. I'm fucking this log up, bro. Man, I love you, RMJ. Anything you freaking guys design is just kick ass. Look at that shit. That is serious. Now we'll just do 10 diagonal chops. Like I said, not trying to chop it down, just going in diagonal. See what it does. See if we get any deflections or anything. Not bad, especially for such a little friggin' hawk. You know, 13 and change long, that's actually a really short hawk. That's shorter than a, you know, like a regular sog tomahawk or something like that, but it's got a good amount of power to it. Yeah. Well, you know what? I'm actually feeling the grip a little bit. Doing shit like this, you're more all over the handle and shit and I'm switching grips spinning it around so I can feel the handle hurts I mean just a little not even really that bad time to try out the gloves uh, prediction yeah this feels a little slippery the gloves on I don't know we'll see though Actually, any of the pain that I did feel before, I'm not feeling it now with the gloves on. Yo, I was just about to do some sideways prying, should I? It is designed by RMJ, made by CRKT. You know what, I'll cry like a motherfucker if I break this out. Ooh, $110, because I really sank that in. I'm actually watching the steel flex a little. That might be too buried. <laughs> Cause man, I'd be pissed off. Cause I buy this shit, man. I don't got this shit given to me. Oh man. So I might break the bottom of that beard. Man. Here, just to give you a close up of the flex. It's not huge, but since I got it freaking buried in there, that, it is flexing a little bit. I would hate to snap that tip off. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Fuck. Fuck it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> okay guys, let's pray together. Hopefully tactical don't break his awesome tool. Oh, well it came out. Yeah, let's take a look. She's straight, even though I was flexing it. I don't know if you guys can see that, but so even flexing it, the SK5 did hold up. Ooh, look at the tree juices and shit. Yucky. We'll just do a little bit more swinging. You know, just regular stuff. Wow, oh, man. Damn, I am so surprised out. Holy shit, there it goes. Watch out, dudes. Damn. Sorry about that. Yeah, <laughs> dude, this thing bites in fucking good. I do like this little thing, man. And that even prying that beard looks good. I don't see any cracks or nothing, but Okay, let's drop this guy. I should just take one 
one hit or maybe more. There she goes. Now, now that we have this new stump here, we can do some downward strikes, see what it does. Man, I can't believe this little son of a bitch. I mean, and you can feel there is power, even though it's little, it's just because it's full tang and there is some weight. Ooh, deflection. That was a close one. Gotta be careful out here testing stuff. Ready? Pry? Okay, here we go. It's doing it. Time for some spike action. You know I love spikes. And even though the handle is bent, it, it still works good with the spike. Even though it's a little curved, you think it'd only work good like this. Which it does work a hair better, but it does work like this as well. So that went a little bit better than I thought it would. I knew it was gonna be decent. RMJ designed it, so it's gotta be decent. Uh, worried about that handle shape too. And like I said, I bear, I just felt it a little bit. I mean, not enough to even really say it hurt. I could just feel it. So a prolonged use, it might hurt a little, but this is a tactical style tomahawk and ain't really for you know, bushcraft, it, it can, it can do anything. That's the thing I like about tomahawks. They can do everything. Maybe not one thing great, but they can do everything. That's why to me, they're like the ultimate tool. You know, it can do breaching, prying, chopping fucking down trees, splitting wood, whittling with it. It really can do a lot of shit. And this thing, was pretty impressive. I was surprised for being such a little guy. The finish came out good. There was no scratches, just there's wood on there still. And the only place it even like looked like it was starting to rub the paint was right at this bevel, right above this, down here where it's supposed to be sharp, right above that where it changes angle. Just a little bit right there. And maybe a little bit right here on the spike as well. Just a tiny bit of the finish started to wear. But besides that, the finish was really strong. SK-5 held up well. You know, here, let's take a close look at the edge. I didn't do that, actually. And it's perfect. I like a lot of times when I say, oh, it's good. Oh, I see a chip at 2 minutes and 32 seconds. Okay, I can see it in real life. And a lot of stuff is wood or whatever. Sometimes I don't get all the wood off. But believe me, I'm not going to lie to you. If there's a freaking chip, I'm going to say it. And I'm going to be ripping about it, too. So... Here, a nice close look so you can know what I'm talking about. And this, everything. Not that I use this much, but yeah. And the tip, man, RMJ knows how to make a spike. All their spikes are fucking awesome. They just know how to make them right. So yeah, um, recommend it? Most definitely. Definitely. Even though it's like 110 bucks, you can get something a lot cheaper. You know, it depends what you want. This is a cool little one to have as a tactical one. Because it's small, it's light, it's not going to take up a lot of space. Uh, the sheath is super well designed. You know, that's something the rest of these friggin' Tomahawk makers should, like, pay attention to RMJ. How they make their sheaths and stuff. Quick release, comes out the bottom, made a Kydex, awesome. Shoulder strap, you know, option, if you want, or just strap it to your belt. So I definitely recommend it. And 1 to 10... For being a little guy, this thing really kicks ass, and I'll have to at least give it an eight and a half, if not an eight, probably eight and three quarters. And I can't wait to put it up against the other Tomahawks in the shootout vid I'm gonna do soon. I know I keep saying it, I'm gonna do it soon, I just wanna test, I only have like two more Tomahawks I gotta test, then we can just test everybody against each other. So, so there you go. RMJ Design Kanji T-Hawk for CRKT. Thanks for stopping by, and until the next time we meet.